everybody. Welcome to Networking Times TV. My name is Randy Gage, and I want to talk about what we used to think was safe. I tell you what my mother told me, go to school, get an education, and get a job for a big company, and you'll be set for life. I think millions of mothers all over the world probably told their kids that, and that used to be the safest thing to do. That isn't safe anymore. The longer you work for a company, the bigger the target gets on your back. Corporations used to want you to have longevity. They used to want you to have experience. They used to want you to have loyalty. Now they're saying, 35 years he's worked for us? How much do we pay for health benefits? And How much vacation pay? And Couldn't we get somebody who just got out of college and they know all the latest information and they'd work a lot cheaper and they'd have a, a whole lot less benefits? That is the dynamic we're facing. Nowhere was this more clear. I go to Phuket, Thailand. One of the things on my bucket list was I wanted to ride an elephant through the rainforest. So I go to Thailand to do this. I get there, we have a big group, all of the diamond directors from my company in there. So we have so many diamonds, they don't have enough elephants. So they say, hey, half of you go and ride the elephants. The other half, come over here and we're going to show you the monkey training show. Okay, great. So we go to the monkey training show. What they do, they're training monkeys to harvest coconuts. So if you own a monkey there, it costs about 300 US dollars for the school. It takes about two to three months. You send your monkey to school. They have all these palm trees up and then they have a, a cable to the top of each palm tree. And they teach the monkey, climbs up on the cable. He holds onto the cable with one hand and one leg, <laughs> takes the other hand and other leg and spins the coconut till it falls to the ground. Once they're trained, a monkey can harvest a thousand coconuts a day. Now, think where this is going in today's job market, right? So I come home from Thailand, I stop in San Francisco because I want to break up the trip. I overnight there, do a little sightseeing, I go into the airport lounge the next day, there's a couple there with an adorable little puppy. Well, I love animals, so of course, I, hey, can I play with your puppy? And they say, yeah, he's cloned. Now, I, I say, God, come on, get out of this. No, really, he's cloned. We're bringing him back to the States. He's the, the first cloned dog here in the United States. Well, I don't believe him because this puppy is so adorable, just frolicking, frisky little, you know. So, but he's on the, the, the man and the woman are on the same plane back to Miami as me. And they were sitting up front with me, and three or four times in the flight, the guy took the dog back in the carrier. He was talking to people in the back. We land at MIA, we get off the plane, there's a whole bunch of camera crews from the television networks there to film, and sure enough, this puppy had been cloned in South Korea. And it wasn't the first puppy, it was just the first one that had come to the United States. Now, you, you, you just say, you know, will we be debating the moral, ethical, philosophical issues about cloning? Probably for decades. But the fact is, that wasn't the first puppy. And of course, they cloned the sheep. They cloned a camel in Dubai, I think. So where is this going? You're working for that company for 30 years, 35 years. You know, if you're in the airline industry right now, if you're in the real estate business right now, if you're in the construction industry, think of uh, the, the businesses that technology has changed forever. Used to have a huge video store in South Beach where I live, 100,000 titles. Now it's out of business. Why? Nobody goes to neighborhood video stores anymore. They stream them on the line, on the internet. Their cable company has pay-per-click, pay-per-view. That business model is broken. Travel agencies, right? I'm one of the last guys left in the world who uses a travel agent, right? Uh, when I started going, to, I've been to have the same travel agent for 30 years, by the way. When I started going to her, she had about 11 or 12 agents. They all had a desk and one of those five-line phones and they had customers coming in. Now, none of those people work there. She works by herself from home. Those 11 jobs, they're never coming back. They've been eliminated by technology. The five people who used to work in my neighborhood video store, those jobs aren't coming back. They've, they've been replaced by technology. 
the you know you work in and that airline industry or in the construction industry or in the whatever industry when's the point going to come where they, if you're a flight attendant on American or Delta how long is it going to be before they say couldn't we hire a monkey to do that <laughs> Is what's the point when your boss is going to come in and say, well, sorry, we've cloned 11 of him, so we don't need you 10 over here. Where is it gone? Safe is the new risky. What people, you know, what we used to think is safe is not safe. There's no future in that. There's no protection in that. There's no way to take care of your loved ones with that. What's the <clears throat> new safe? The new safe is network marketing. The new safe is when you are your own boss, where you create your own destiny, where you create your own prosperity, where you don't work for anyone. You build your dream and you build it as big as you want to build it because you're totally in charge. That is the new safe. Thanks for watching Networking Times TV. My name is Randy Gage. Let's rock this thing. Yay!